Hello and welcome to this informal YouTube. <clears throat> it's an informal sharing from my heart to your heart. But I would like to ask you a simple question. Would you like to join me with all our brothers and sisters of the Teo community of Interfaith Franciscans on our live stream channel or on our Facebook page along with the Prayer Partners for Peace. As a community, <clears throat> we come from all different beliefs where we respect each other's belief because it is our belief that we are all children of the one true source, a God who has many names and none. And it's not for me or for our brothers and sisters to sit in judgment on any child of God because of their race, their color, creed, or even their gender orientation. So this is an invitation from my heart to join us each morning at 9 a.m. and each evening at 5 p.m. UK time <clears throat> as God's prayer partners for peace. We live in a beautiful world. I often refer to as the cathedral of God, God's landscape. But yet we know that many of God's children have turned their back on respect for this beautiful earth, where they abuse the earth for their own greed. And where many are involved in desecrating the earth through raping the, ra the forests of their beautiful trees. And also, this has a negative impact on all God's little creatures. But we're finding it now in many of the cities, even in the UK, where councils, through budget constraints, are taking and uprooting trees from the city centres. And that does have an impact on the wildlife, the birds from nesting. As a Franciscan, I find my God not in the ornate church buildings, but in the cathedral of God, the landscape. And I'm most comfortable having God's little animals around me like here in the monastery where we have our doves for peace, our rescued hens, and two rescued dogs, where we give them love, but they give us much more than we give them. So this is an invitation to join us as God's prayer partners for peace. And I'd like to share with you our first reflection from Swami Vivekananda. I shall go to the mosque of the Muslim. I shall enter the Christian church and kneel before the crucifix. I shall enter the Buddhist temple and take refuge in the Buddha. I shall keep my heart open for all that is to come in the future. Is God's book finished? Or is revelation still going on? Salutations to all the prophets of the past, to all the great ones of the present, and to all who are to come in the future. But it would be remiss of me not to share with you the beautiful prayer of peace from St. Francis of Assisi, that 12th century mystic, eco-sustainable warrior whose love has touched my heart ever since I knelt at his tomb in April 2008, where his message was very simple and very clear, as was the message from Jesus. Not only to embrace all faiths, but to welcome all faiths into our community of Franciscan brothers and sisters, to respect their faith tradition and encourage them to continue 
with their own faith tradition and share with the community the richness of their own belief in this amazing God who has many names. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me show love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, unity. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is error, truth. Where there is despair, hope where there is sadness, joy, and where there is darkness, light. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying to ourself, our ego, that we are born to eternal life. And finally, another beautiful prayer for peace. We ask that the time for world peace is now. Each person surrender to their higher selves and gain a new inner peace and serenity. Leave behind the residual conditioning and emotions of the past and cultivate a new level of understanding, forgiveness and compassion. Enabling the world's population to live together in acceptance of each other's individuality, diversity and beliefs. Embracing a new level of stability security, world peace, plenty for everyone, harmony and unity. As each person moves forward to the level of unconditional love, may they shine and become empowered as they recognize their individual strengths, gifts and talents and accelerate their own learning, experience, knowledge and wisdom. Let us understand how all of this can effect a new foundation and benefit the highest good of mankind and humanity. May each person make a difference in our world and from this life experience move forward with understanding and enlightenment. As this prayer is said with the highest level of love, sincerity and integrity, in love, in light and healing, so be it, so it is. Let us reflect on this beautiful invitation from God's heart to your heart, via my old heart, to come and become the hands and the feet and the beating heart of the Supreme, the Source, the One who is, the I Am Presence, the God of many names and none, for just a few minutes each day and that we can make a difference in this world. And it's my belief that no prayer goes unheard before God. Each prayer from a loving heart for the highest good of all is always acknowledged by this God of many names and none. So come, join us. And let us together Share our love of the Creator God. And with Mother Earth, let us sing the praises of gratitude and thanksgiving for God's abundance to us. The air that we breathe, the rays of Brother Sun and Sister Moon, and the unconditional love from the animal kingdom. The choristers of God, the wildlife, 
the birds who sing to us every day. Come, come from your heart, and together let us break bread at this table of joy, where your life does matter to God, and where together we can become a beacon of light in the Cathedral of God, the landscape. Again, the question, would you be willing to give up a few minutes each day to join with like-minded brothers and sisters of different beliefs, but with one common purpose, to empower mankind, take responsibility for all that negative energy and bad karma that's being released from them into this beautiful world of light that's imploding through man's inhumanity to mankind. We had a saying many years ago in the monastery, desolate is the whole world laid desolate because no man thinks in his heart. I leave you now and I thank you from my heart. And I pray that you will become one of our prayer partners from peace. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, paxet bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace from the God of peace become your peace. Today, tomorrow, and always. And please pray for the brothers and sisters of the Teo community who've surrendered their hearts not to dogma, not to fear or guilt, but to a simpler way of living from their monastery without walls, their home, and to dedicate their lives for unity and peace in the Cathedral of God. Bless you.